Hi guys, welcome to Bhagavad channel. In our last video, we have explained about hypothesis testing and the two types of hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Further, we have explained you about the types of error in hypothesis testing. Then we have conducted one sample t-test and then we have did power analysis in Google Colab Python. If you have not watched that video, the link is available in description. Please go and watch it. Now, in this video, we will talk about two sample t-test. There are two types. One is the pad, the other one is the unpad t-test. Before going ahead, I request you to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. So as the name suggests, two sample t-test, here there will be two samples it will be from two populations. In case of unpaired, both the population having similar characteristics, but they are independent. For example, you just assume that the salary of five years experienced professional in IT sector and automobile sector. So there is a general assumption that both are not equal. We always feel that IT sector salary is better than or higher than uh, automobile sector. So here the assumption is always the alternate hypothesis. So the alternate hypothesis is salary of IT sector is not equal to salary of automobile sector. Then we know null hypothesis is opposite to it. So here the salary of IT sector is equal to salary of automobile sector. So here the salary is the average salary of the mean salary. So now, for conducting this test, we have collected sample of IT employees as well as the automobile employees. So, and we have created an array. So you have to import NumPy. So we have imported NumPy as NP. So that's why NP.array for creating the array here. So we have created the array with the salaries of the professionals. So we will see what is the sample size of uh, both. So both are 30 numbers. So we have collected sample from 30 people. So we will see the mean salary. So here the mean salary, you can see around uh, 6,000 rupees uh, difference in the average salary. By seeing this, anyone would say the alternate hypothesis, whatever the assumption, is correct, but let us check whether the assumption, whatever we have considered is correct as per hypothesis testing. So now moving ahead, we are going ahead with importing skypy.stats and we are importing that with the name as stats. So it's skypy.stats, then stats.ttest underscore ind, ind means independent or unpaired t-test. So here there are two groups or two arrays. One is the auto and the other one is IT. So first you have to import the package. Then you have to use the command stats dot t-test underscore in and within bracket, you have to mention the two arrays. If you execute this code, we are getting the p-value. So here the p-value is 0.207 so and uh, there are so many decimal values so we will take first three digits so which is higher than 0 0.05 so that means you cannot reject null hypothesis even though here the mean value is showing a visibility of difference but when we conduct the null hypothesis we can say that there is no sufficient evidence to prove that the average salary of five years experienced person in IT sector and automobile sector is not equal. So there is, it does not say that both are uh, not equal. It says there is the sufficient evidence is not available. So it says in that way. So here, in case of unpaired teachers, see here the characteristics is same, which is the average salary of five years experience personal. And when it comes to the 
independent how uh, population so how we are saying it sector and automobile sector both are different populations so th that's why this is grouped as a unparty test now we will move ahead with parity test in parity test same two samples from population but from the same population at two different time intervals for example you are taking a five years experience pro professional so independent of uh, any industry you can say before covid 19 first wave is greater than after covid 19 first wave so this is a general assumption because there are lots of job losses and everything has happened in the market so because of that the salary packages and also was reduced after covid 19 so here the assumption as said salary before first wave is greater than salary after first wave so the null hypothesis which shall be opposite to this which means it should be less than or equal to so that's what the alternate uh, sorry null hypothesis we have taken so similarly here also we have taken two samples one is before COVID-19 and the other one is after COVID-19 we have converted those salary list into arrays so once you execute you create the array so here before and after so you can see there is around 8000 rupees uh, difference in mean so but we have to verify it with hypothesis testing now here the code because since we have already imported the package skypy.stats so we are directly using the code from that package stats.ttest underscore or el or el is used for uh, parity test there is a relationship so before and after are the two uh, different samples which we have to mention within the bracket once you execute this code here you can see the value is 0 0.0019 so which we can say 0 0.002 which is less than 0 0.05 so which means you can reject null hypothesis with so much of confidence so you can say the alternate hypothesis is true in this case which means the salary before first wave is higher than the salary after first wave so in this video hope you have understood about the pair t-test and unpaired t-test both are two sample t-test we'll come up further uh, videos on data analysis and statistics we request you to subscribe our channel, like this video, share with your friends and keep on wait for our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.